Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial from Gluten Free For You. Today we're going to be showing you how you can create a holographic display in Motion 5. The first thing you're going to need is a video of you maybe holding an object and waving your hand every once in a while. So we've got this one here. And first thing you're going to do is come over here to uh, your shapes and choose rectangle. And draw a shape about like that. And come over to 3D rotator. And rotate it so that it faces wherever you're at, wherever you're facing in your clip. So there's that. And now we come over to Inspector and we choose a color for it. You can use a green, blue, we'll use a green here and darken it up. Now we're going to apply filter to it. So we'll come over to Filters and under Stylize, we'll choose Bad TV. And back under the inspector, we'll choose. We'll change the uh, roll of it to take out that line there. The waviness, you. It depends what style you're using. For ours, we'll go with a little bit of waviness. And the static, you want to make pretty low. And number of scan lines, we want to take those down, make those more. I'm putting mine at about 142. So now you have your hologram. And what you're going to do now is come under library and under content, I think it is. we'll go under gadgets. So now we've got various ones we can choose from and we'll go with some of these green ones here because they'll match our... So we'll scale this down to make this just a little corner icon and rotate. So now you have that, we'll drag in another. Now we'll head up to gauges, gauges, and we'll um, drag an overload linear. Now let's skip that because that one moves around a bit. We'll go with future data. That one's too large. You just need to kind of look around for a little bit. Future data 5 is a pretty good one. I like to use that to kind of line up the top of my hologram. You just adjust it until it looks right, size it up the right way, and make sure it's facing at the right angle. Let's play that a little bit. So now you've got the basic of our hologram, but it's still not complete yet. What you want to do now is you want to come on under your images. You want to come under library and photos. And you can choose some photos that you've taken that you like. You can drag them in there. And if you hold down shift and drag one of these corners, it will keep it from distorting your image. 
that's it's in that little green area that you've got open. Rotate it again to make sure it's facing the right way. So now you have an image in your hologram. And to that image, we're going to apply once you can select it. We're going to apply a behavior, so we'll go under basic motion and say fade in, fade out. So now let's try that. So now it fades in. And one thing we need to do here is move this whole hologram back. Over this way a little bit. Take this, because otherwise his hand just passes right through the whole thing. What you do here is that each time your guy moves the hand, you add a new new image with a fade in and fade out on it, so that it looks like he's um searching through the images like you would on an iPhone. And that's pretty much how you do it. You can customize it and mess with it however you want. I haven't been able to recreate it as good as I was the first time as you can see on our channel if you want to take a look at the best at our good one.